And so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to automatically download files without having to visit the link. It's pretty simple. Um, <clears throat> you can also, I was going to make a video on how to do this using KeyAuth. And if you are a KeyAuth user, then I will add this at the end of the video. Um, but for now, I'm just going to jump into this. So first thing you want to do is you want to grab a button. And this button is just going to download the file. So and then I'm also going to come in here. Just have this open. And now I'm going to create something that we can download. So I just have a notepad. Let's save this. And I will just put it here. And I'll just do these are good. Oh, we don't need that. Now we're going to go to Discord and I'm actually going to put that file in here. Put that in there. And then we're just going to go back to our code and double click this. And now that we're here, we're going to do string and we can name it whatever. We'll just do link, I guess. Um, and then here is where we're going to put the link. So back to Discord, um, more, and then copy the message link. Go back and just paste that in there. <coughs> then we're going to make another string and this is going to be the file name or the file location. And this is where we're going to save the, um, the actual download itself. Um, so we're just going to do at and then we're going to do um, YouTube download video uh, and since we want to save something actually in it we're going to do this and we will just name it YouTube download worked I guess um, and now that we have that we are going to create a web client. We're going to add a reference. Let's go using system.net. Then just wc equals new web client. And we're also going to create, now if you already have a directory called this and you don't need to do this next step but if you want to then you can um, so we're just going to do a directory and we're going to create a directory and the name of this directory is going to be what we have right here um, so we just go ahead and copy and paste that paste that right there and close that out then we're going to do a yeah, web client and we're going to download download file and we're going to do link as well as file name and then come over here 
And then if we want to, we can just do a message box saying that your file is downloaded. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, really simple. So now if we just go ahead and run this. And we can click download your file. File downloaded. So now if we come back over here, you see uh, that it created a new directory. And here's our file that is the text. So if you just open up Notepad and put this over here. Now it's going to pop up like this, obviously, because it's coming from Discord. So if it's a text file, you need to make sure that when you save it, you're saving it um, as a text file. Um, and so when you come over here to file name, you can just put, you know, .txt or the extension .txt and it will save it as a text file. Um, other than that, if it's an actual application that you coded, then you don't need to do all that. Um, just save it, download it, and it will work. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all for that part. Now, if you want to do something with key auth, I'm actually going to make that in another video. I, I know I said I would do it in this video, but I will do that in another video just to keep things simple. But I did hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.